happy Friday, um, April the 23rd, I think, yeah. Anywho, I'm headed out to work. It's Friday, so this is my outfit of the day that I have on. I have on earrings from my shop. Did you go shop now? Um, I have on these necklaces are all from Living Fearless Collection. Um, this shirt is from my shop, Puff Sleeve Bodysuit in Black. They're actually all on sale, so if you want to go to my shop, AmariRose.com, to the sales section, they are all up to, some stuff is up to almost 50% off, so yeah, I don't know if this one is or not, you just check it out. Then I got on this black belt from H&M, my jeans are from H&M, and my combat boots are from Steve Madden. And so this is my outfit of the day. My room is atrocious because I need to be painting. This is the current state of my room. No judgment zone. Just mostly clothes on the bed, for real, for real. Got one plate right there I ate last night. I put, put that in the thing. And that are my paint colors that I wanted to um, choose. But you guys chose the one in the middle, which is Drift the Mist. So hopefully this weekend the room will be painted. Um, you guys will see some of that. I was trying to get back into my groove of things of like recording and stuff. I'm kind of needing a break. So this may be the last vlog you guys see. Haven't decided yet. I've probably been decided by the time Monday comes. I mean Sunday night comes. And let you guys know this is the last one for a minute. I need to count how many I've done. Because after so many I usually take a break. Because you know it gets overwhelming. It gets tiring. I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. I forgot what that was on. I watched too many movies. But anyway, we're getting ready to get in the car. Head on out. Head on out. And um, I got a lot to do when I get home. I got a 6.32. Got to get going because the bus comes at 6.40. And what I got to do when I get home? Um, if the movie that we want to watch is not up on my little app, then I'll start painting. If it is, I'll paint tomorrow. And we're trying to do the Mortal Kombat movie, but I didn't see it this morning. So hopefully they have it up by the time tonight comes. I didn't see the movie on the app yet. You know, on there. The old one's still on there. So hopefully by tonight it'll be up. If not, it might be up tomorrow. I don't know. All right, y'all, I gotta get in the car, so I'll check in with you guys in a few. All right, you guys, it is a lunchtime. It's 11.56. I'm going a little early today. I got shits to do that I really don't want to do on a fucking Friday, but whatever. It is what it is. What is that? Oh. So I am going to get lemon pepper wings because I fucking deserve them. <laughs> After this long ass week, okay? After this long week, I deserve okay lemon pepper wings. So that's what we're going to get, okay? Okay. Any hoozie, it's been a really busy morning. Had an impromptu meeting. Hate those. They suck. Um, and I've just been building charges all day. <sighs> if you guys don't work in the healthcare field or any field where you have to charge people, insurance companies, and shit you think you don't really know what that means but what it means is just basically whenever we get new cpt codes or anything like that we manually have to build them in the system like they don't magically fucking appear which i don't understand why the fuck they wouldn't have some kind of system that when new cpt codes come up you pay the people to upload the new cpt codes because where i came from before they weren't that cheap okay they actually had a add-on or whatever you want to call it where the actual company where you of the EHR that we have, they they uploaded all the new CPT codes for us so we didn't have to manually put the motherfuckers in. Whether somebody was using them or not, we don't care. Put them all up in there. <laughs> we'll deactivate as we go. Um, so I have manually have to put them in there. Oh, I'm so tired of having to bleep out when we do stuff. So I have a lot of shit to do today. I feel like motor combat is not gonna be up. Can y'all see me? Can y'all see me? It's not going to be up on our little app that we watch movies on. Because it wasn't there this morning. But it doesn't mean it won't be there when I get to the house. Um, I'm trying to see if y'all can see me. Um, it doesn't mean that it won't be there when I get to the house. Uh, so, 
I'm gonna call the kids, see if they want pizza, order that ahead, pick it up on the way home. And then if it's not there, then we will either pick another movie to watch, find some odd movie. You know, last week we watched Aladdin. Uh, find something to watch and watch movies. Or if everybody want to go their separate ways with their pizza, they can. And then I'm going to start painting in my room if that is the case. Um, if that's not the case, then we'll just watch movies. And then tomorrow, Saturday, I want to go ahead and... Um, get as much as the room done as I can and then hopefully Sunday I can go ahead and um, buy the one by threes and try to go ahead and like create a baseboards in my bedroom so this will be the first time I ever created baseboards I'm not doing like I said the 45 the angle 45 degree angle method I'm doing the like just join them together in the end method <laughs> well, I may do the four. It may. It depends. I may change my mind. I may do the forty-five degrees, but I always suck at that. For some reason, I'll measure it right, and then I'll do the forty-five degrees, and then it'll be short. So I gotta read up on why is it short when I measure correctly? Because I'm assuming I need to measure over. So when I cut, it'll be right. Does that make sense? I think it does. But I'm not a carpenter. But that sounds like what I should have been doing. <laughs> when it wasn't working before so that's what I'm doing and on my lunch break I'm still reading the lion the lying game I don't even know I'm, even, I'm probably not even halfway through this book I have to finish this book by the end of the weekend because next week is the last week of April and this is only my third book I have to read at the least four books every single month so I need to get my motherfucking ass into gear because I only have till Sunday to finish reading that book and start a new one so we need to get our shit together and I don't know if y'all can see me. I apologize. But I'll be back later. Alright you guys. The day is over. Ooh. Bear. <laughs> and we are headed home for movie night. So I did ask my son if the movie we want. We want to watch the new Mortal Kombat movie tonight. But if it's not up on the app that I have. Then he said we will find something else to watch. Because I have to ask him you know. He be acting funny and shit, so we be having to ask him ahead of time. So I know what my game plan is when I get home. I did order our pizza online again. Um, we're back on our Friday pizza night. Y'all know we haven't been doing it because my stove don't work. And it's actually cheaper if I would hurry and get a damn stove. But my ass ain't got nothing, okay? And I probably won't get no stove until freaking October sometime. Um... So yeah, and I like about Domino's is they have like a order tracker. So you put in your phone number and it'll tell you what step your order is. So it'll be like ordered, prep, bake, quality check, ready. Super good. Last time they had my order ready spot on. So that was great. I'm home. And before we have movie night, I have to put this ant stuff down. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I used to try to do it every six months, but I haven't done it since last year the pandemic so basically you see all of that is ant beds you see all that that's ant beds when he mowed the lawn the other day it actually got like mowed over a lot of the ant beds so i really only do this up towards the house because we're never out in the middle of the yard so see how they got here so i'm gonna make sure i put it on this side too so basically i can't remember how i found this stuff but this shit works so good so the way it works is you have to put it out right before it rains if you don't want to do extra work. So what I mean by extra work is it is a water activated in a sense. So you literally have to put it on the ground. And then if you don't want to do the work of getting out your hose. I know you guys can't see me. Of getting out your hose and actually watering your lawn to activate it. It's best to do it right before it rains. And it's supposed to rain tonight and all day tomorrow. So this is what it's called. It's the... Transit side insect killer for lawns by spectac spectacticide kills on contact. So okay. Basically, I have this little I don't know what you call this thing, but what it does is you pour the granules in here. And I usually get like six to ten bags. This time I only got six because I ain't feel like carrying all that shit. And just put it in there. And what it does is this little thing's like sprinkles it out for you evenly because you're trying to sprinkle it out with your hands 
ain't going to work and you're going to put too much in one spot. So this is kind of like a, I don't know. You, you've seen those if you've seen your grass man have one. They use it for like grass fertilizer, but you can also use it for this as well. Now, mind you, I got mine for free, so it's really kind of rickety. But it don't matter as long as it worked like I wanted to. I could kill this. So, literally it'll take like a bag or so. And so I'm going to show you what it does. Um, let me get this together and so I'm gonna pull this little handle to open it up when I'm ready to spread the granules okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys down so you can kind of see so basically I just go up and down the road so like you mowing the lawn and it basically got one and a half bags got to like right that far. Still have a teeny bit left in there. I'm gonna pour some out of this bag right here onto these ants. Just so I don't have to come back over here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it. If I see fit. And this is the this is not the way to do it. I'm just gonna tell you honestly. I should be doing it a little bit more strategic in this but I don't really care so I'm just gonna pour the rest of this out wherever I feel like ants are actually living and alive and well and I'll put it like right on the ant bed like just sprinkle it out there and sometimes they'll wake up when they feel it and run out and run around but they'll settle down later before the rain so it won't really matter if they come out and be all mad right now because I can give two fucks get your ass out my lawn fuck it up shit all right so that's that so I'm gonna fill like the rest of this stuff and do the rest of the lawn so yeah is this what you want now feels like you're looking for something bad All right, you guys, so I'm finished. So six bags usually gets about the first half of my lawn. I have a really big lawn, so I probably need like 20 bags for real, but who's gonna do all that? If it's all the way down by the driveway, we don't go down in the way, who cares about the ants? I just don't want them up close to the house. Um, the reason why you saw me going in a line, like up back and forth is because you have to treat the whole area. Because what happens is, if you don't treat the whole area, and I put that stuff directly on the mound, what they do is they move away from the contaminated soil or the insecticide poisonous soil. It's only poison to bugs, not your grass or flowers or anything like that. And, and they move right next to it. That's why you see when you kill one ant bed that so they move to another ant bed. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. But I don't want to wipe my face because I got that stuff on my hands. I'm going to wash my hands. Um, and so you saw me spot treating a little bit like down there just to kill the mounds that I saw. They're just going to move later. But hey, I just did it because I knew it was farther down. So after it rains tonight and all day tomorrow, I probably, if hopefully if I think about it on Sunday, Sunday should be really nice. I'll come back and show you what the beds look like if there's any change. And really they should have been died out. Seriously though. So we'll just see how that goes. Uh, so like again, this is how it looks right now and they just start popping up as the weather's getting warmer over here and they usually don't pop up in my driveway but they started popping up in my driveway so I'm going to start treating my driveway as well. Um, so yeah, but that's what I did. So I'm about to go wash my hands, change my clothes and put on my pajamas we're gonna get ready for movie night so i'll check in with you guys hey the movie is on the app so we get to watch mortal Kombat. it's gonna be so good i'm about to get my pizza it's not the ending can't give you what you need don't misbehave all right
right, you guys. I'm going to continue my obsession with watching hoarders. Uh, I gave Law and Order a break. So, yeah. We watch it. There we go. What's wrong with this thing? We watch it hoarders now, which is probably absolutely disgusting, but entertaining nonetheless. So that was my night. We couldn't get Mortal Kombat to play. I called, I texted people about my app. Um, and they was like, they're going to try to, I think everybody's having issues with it. So they're going to try to reload it. They said it's going to take two, three, four hours. We'll just watch that shit tomorrow if, and hope it works tomorrow. So yeah, but I'm going to go, I'm going to lay down until I fall asleep. Because you know, when I get up in the morning, I can't procrastinate. I got to, you know what I forgot? I forgot to go to my, to the post office. I'm supposed to pick up my package. I knew it was something I was forgetting. But anyway, um. I forgot about damn I wanted to get my package tonight. Guess I'll get it tomorrow. So but I'm definitely gonna get up. As soon as I get up, I'm gonna start painting because I need to get this painting done. I need to have the whole room painted by Sunday night. And I wanna do the trim too, but I'm not gonna be over ambitious. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna have the um room painted. And if I get the trim done, that's just a motherfucking bonus. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Happy Saturday, April the 24th? 25th? What the fuck is today? I don't know what the day is, y'all. I'm gonna follow that. It's April 24th, yes. So it's currently 6.42 in the morning, you guys know. I just can't sleep in. So I have put down some plastic right here. I'm gonna start by painting this wall right here first. Um. Just a little plastic. I know it comes up off the floor, but I really don't want to, to be bothered with trying to scrape it up off the floor. So I'm not going to. Um, so I'm going to start with this wall first and then move to this wall. And then probably everywhere I can get without having to have a tall ladder. Because here, I don't think I'm going to be tall enough even with my little thing here. And I forgot to go to my neighbor's house yesterday and get his ladder. And it's going to be raining cats and dogs all day. So tomorrow is not going to rain. So I'll do what I can do today. And probably finish up the rest tomorrow like y'all it's like raining raining it's supposed to be 100 percent rain all day things supposed to be like flash flood warning and all kinds of other shit so yeah y'all know i put that ant stuff down yesterday so it should work really really good i did not charge my camera so i'm so sorry i will not be able to record that much right now but by the time i get through probably with this wall Hopefully there will be enough uh, footage. I mean, it'll be um, charged up enough to, you know, give you guys an update or whatever. So I'm just going to get to the damn thing. And I will check in with you guys later. So like I said, it's 642. So I'll show you the progress and I'll tell you the time when I get back. So yeah, let's get yeah. to it. I goofed a little bit. So... Y'all know I'm not an experienced painter and probably should have did research first. But as I was painting, I noticed the wall where I did the actual swatches. All the colors look different. And so I was like, dang, was I supposed to prime everywhere first? Number one, that I had already painted over for the paint swatches, which I should have fucking known. And number two, in all the places that I spackled. Now, I did not prime the den and I believe the reason why I have to prime it now because in the den it went over fine I think it's because it was a darker color and it didn't necessarily matter but in this case because I'm using a lighter color you literally can see every fucking thing so what I'm gonna have to do is let this wall dry and then fucking prime the damn wall again Reading this funnel fucking mental, okay? Just all day y'all. So, before I move on, as you guys can see, there's spackle everywhere from where they took down the strips. So, basically, I'm going to have to prime all just the spackle areas. I don't have to prime the wall. Just where they spackle, where, where all the spackle marks at, is what you guys can see. And hopefully that will help. When I get ready to paint, you know, make all the wall look even. Because I don't know if you guys can tell on camera. You can. You see how I, that's where the paint swatches were. That's primer 
that right there is spackle. So spackle, paint color, paint color, paint color, paint color. Sorry, it's not focused because I'm putting it. So you can see everything. <laughs> That's a fucking no-no. And probably you can see it really good on camera. In the natural eye, you can see it a little bit, but we're not fucking with that. Okay, so I'm gonna prime this wall when it, it dries, which will be in four freaking hours. Um, because you can only do four hours per coat. So let's just get my motherfucking life. God, I swear. It's always some shit. Anyway, I'll be back. Right, guys, so I'm back from the vlog. Um, sorry, I'm doing a simultaneous like um renovation video as long a renovation vlog as well as vlogging which i should stop doing that but whatever some of these will be probably interchanged and duplicates it is what it is um but i am finished priming the room i have set a timer for an hour and so i'll wait for one hour because it takes the primer one hour to dry i did not wait on this wall over here i actually went ahead and primed it pray it turns out right because i wasn't waiting it was dry to the touch as far as painting over i don't know i don't give a fuck I painted the damn wall. Um, so I have one hour, so I'm going to find me something to eat. And I'll probably go in my office because I still have not edited the vlog from last week. That was supposed to go Thursday of last week because today's Saturday. So Thursday passed. Um, so I'm going to see if I can go ahead in my office and like work on that shit. <laughs> and get my whole life. Um, so yeah, so I will check in with you guys. Oh, I it? changed my mind. I decided to go ahead and actually paint the trim that I have already sanded while I have a few minutes because I think I got as far as to the front of the room. So a little bit of the front of the room is not um, sanded, but the rest of this back here is sanded. So I'm going to go ahead and prime it. I'm just a worker bee. When I get in the mood to work and I feel the energy or whatever, I can't stop. So I need to go ahead while I feel like doing it or this shit will be looking like this in fucking August, October. <laughs> But we're not going to do that because our goal is to have this done by the end of this quarter. And I hope we actually get ahead by the end of this quarter because next quarter I want to work on my living room. And so I would like to be able to start, actually start the living room project this quarter. But I'm going to be realistic with my goals. So we're just going to say that this quarter is my bedroom quarter. I finished painting the trim as you can see or priming it rather up into the points where I haven't sanded it yet. As you can tell, my trim on this front wall is not the best. I don't know what the fuck they did. Maybe they just did it wrong and they was like, fuck it. But it's not out <laughs> like it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to paint what I see and that's just going to be it. And I actually might paint it the color of the wall so it'll kind of blend in. You can't really tell. Maybe I don't know. We're going to fucking see. Whatever. Anyway, so I have 16 minutes left on my one hour timer according to a series. So I'm gonna go ahead and make me a bagel and get me some water. I think I ate all my yogurt. And then I have to remember to freaking repot my plants today because I'm about to kill my fiddle leaf and we can't have that. So I need to do that two motherfucking day. I don't have time. Um, so I'll do that after I paint and then I have to wait four hours before I can put on another coat. So I'll do it in between that time. But right now we finna go find food because the bitch is hungry. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm finished with the first coat of paint. Paint. A little teenager has come out of their cocoon to make food. <laughs> and I'm looking for my little house shoes, y'all, cause my motherfucking feet hurt. I can't find them. I'm about to repot these plants as well. Uh, so they don't die, 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 die on me. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm not hungry. I just ate. Well, I ain't really just ate. It's been a minute, but the bagel will last a minute. All right, you guys. I'm going to repot my fiddle leaf first. Then I'm going to try my thingamajig over here. My ZZ plant. I need to get new pots for my actual um to my stairs, so I might venture out today and see what I can find on sale for well. That don't cost too much. I'm just gonna use the same <laughs> little plastic that we use for our paint. So we can just literally pick this up and actually dump it outside. Because dirt is dirt is dirt. 
feel a leaf is pretty dry because I didn't want to overwater it. Get it out of the pile. Losing some of the leaves. It's pretty dry. I did put the um, Miracle Grow Moisture Control, and I got some Pure Light aeration just in case. Um, no, they want to have a food on me. Oh wait, damn, I bought Pure Light for no reason. It's already got Pure Light in it. I can tell I'm ready. I have some Pure Light in it. you guys what it looks like so you can see what I mean like half of this one is still good but it's already turning yellow so it's not gonna make it this one's definitely like it's so it was a worm in there Ew! okay I gotta get this shit out of here we're not fucking with that type of problem so I'm actually gonna throw all this soil away we're not using none of this soil on my damn plant let me just show you how it looks so it's supposed to be like this, like light colored and, you know, super firm. And you'll see these ones. You see how that's super mushy right there? It's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be hard like that. But now that it's infected, I can't do nothing. And this one got like little worms and shit living in it. So all this fucking dirt going outside, definitely not going to plant it back in that. Or this pot. I'll probably throw this damn pot away too. Because who knows what's in it or how infected it is. So I know I haven't watered this since I bought it. But <clears throat> I'm still scared of overwarning it. So we're just going to spray bottle it. We're just going to like spray it around the top. Just to get it wet. Spray the leaves. how wet I'm gonna get it that's it it's never ending can't give you what you need oh no no Clocko, and I am finished painting. I actually got finished probably about 30 minutes ago, so like 5.30. So it basically took me an hour and 30 minutes to put that second coat on. I was humpy in record time. Put paint on my face. <laughs> but anyway, I'm about to get in the shower, and then I'll probably cook up some burgers for dinner, and we'll eat chips, and then we're going to see if this movie is working tonight. We're trying to watch the new Mortal Kombat movie, and it wasn't working yesterday, so hopefully it works tonight. And then we'll have movie night and then I need to clean up my room. <laughs> the part that, I mean, it's a mess for it to be just my bed in the middle of the floor. Shouldn't make my, my bed look like this, okay? That's no excuse for that, so. 
we're gonna rectify that tonight or either tomorrow one or two depending on how tired i am oh no i'm getting people anyway i shall return guys i just got finished cooking burgers for dinner the kiddos getting their stuff both of them hamburgers ain't yours well, you let him put his sauce on there. And the Mortal Kombat movie is working. So, yay. Watching Mortal Kombat tonight. Y'all, my feet hurt so bad. I'm standing up. <laughs> Ooh, they hurt. They hurt. Thighs hot. <laughs> oh. Yep, so I'm waiting on them. And watch the new Mortal Kombat. And then after this, I'm probably going to get in my bed and go to motherfucking sleep. I've been up since 6.45. By the time this movie over with, I don't even know how long it is, how many hours it is. It'll probably be freaking 8 o'clock or something. Let's see how long this movie is. 110 minutes, so that's 60, 40, 50. So it's an hour and 50 minutes, almost two hours. Yeah, an hour and 50 minutes. So, whew. There go a big hand. Hi. <laughs> She's such a baby. Mm -hmm. My mommy, my mommy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are my mom. <laughs> but I'm clean. So. Yes, you are. But anyway, nothing wrong with that. All right, y'all. Let's get to this movie. Hey, guys. So it's currently, I got everything over on my nightstand. I cleaned up a little bit. Um, 8.47. Um. The movie was really, really good. I gave it like a seven, I think. With the fighting, they could have did a little bit better. The storyline was really, really good. Um, but the fighting scenes weren't weren't the best. I mean, they was a height. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'm in the bed. And I'm probably gonna read a little bit before I go to bed. Did I show you guys my room that I cleaned it up? Let me see. So basically, so that's my H&M order. I just told you guys I was ordering those pants and that um, blazer, that linen blazer in a, um, in a larger size. So I got the blazer in a large and the pants in a 12 because I had got a 10 and a medium didn't work out. And then I did get those um, pants that went to that long cardigan, that loungewear set. I did get them in a medium. They fit perfect. And then I saw they had a black pair and a brown pair. So I got those um, and then I got a belt. Because uh, I told you guys my belt game is ridiculous. So I'm trying to get my belt game together. Um, so I pretty much cleaned off my bed. Everything's clean. This is what the wall is looking like. And this type of lighting. So to me right now it looks literally like it's gray. It looks gray to me. But on the camera you tell it has a little bit of brownish yellowish undertone. So I don't know what color you guys see. Well I can see it through the camera but still. And then I just cleaned off my nightstand. So I'm about to read my book. Because you know I have to be finished with this book by tomorrow. And look, I'm not even halfway through this book. So I need to be quit playing games. And I have to read one more book next week by Friday. Because Friday's the 30th. I'm thinking I had till Sunday. But bitch, I ain't got till Friday. I gotta get my ass in gear. We might just see three books. We might have to make that shit up later. And I don't want to make it later, you guys. I want to do it now. So, yeah. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. So, I'm going to tell you guys good night. And I'll see you guys at manana. Hey, you guys. Happy Sunday. So, I'm currently up. Just got dressed. I've been up since 6. It's like 8 o'clock now. Yep. So, I'm about to get ready to leave because the hardware store opens up at... Well, Home Depot opens up at 8 o'clock. And so, um, I'm going to get the baseboards today. I'm trying to think if I'm going to get the caulk. I think I'm going to get the caulk today too. And then I'm trying to decide. So for eight foot, I need seven boards. And it'll cost me like $63. But they do have 16 foot boards, which will be perfect. Because I didn't want to have any seam on the longest wall. Because my room is like. I say it's 15 by 15, but it's a little bit smaller, I think, lengthwise, um, widthwise. Yeah, widthwise for me. Um, so I, I didn't, I was trying to figure out like how could I 
like uh, I don't have to do too much sanding and cutting and shit so I wanted to get 16 foot boards so I wouldn't have to cut but the ends off and then I won't have to worry about trying to mend two eight foot boards together if that makes sense and then the other boards would need to be cut because I think so this wall will be a, get a 16 foot board the wall behind my bed would get a 16 foot board that wall will get a seven foot board so it only leave an inch left so it'll need one eight foot by itself this is four feet and this is three feet so that'll take up another board and then this one is five feet so i only need three eight foot boards and two 16 foot boards if that makes sense sorry for my my doorbell camera goes off like when it's windy and cloudy because it thinks the shadows is a person, but it isn't. Um, so I'm about to get ready to go. It's 55 degrees outside, so I just got on. I think I can show you guys what I got on today. It's a really super simple outfit. My little stomach poking out because it's about to be that time of the month. So your girl bloated. And I have not been eating the best, so we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> but anyway, this is what I have on. Let's see what's going on. Act right. I just have on this bodysuit. You guys know I got it from Puerto Rico. No, I don't have a bra on. We just run to the store right quick. Um, and then remember, I got this long dress from H&M. And I really didn't plan on wearing it as a dress. I planned on wearing it more like a cardigan. So, got that. And then I got on my Bershka jeans. You guys haven't seen me wear these in a minute. I thought I would th throw them on today. Super cute. And then I got on my Pumbaa. And I'm going to take my purse, of course, from Amari Rose. So, yeah. <laughs> Throw my little raggedy hair into a ponytail because it need washing so bad. I have been like trash with my washing schedule. Like utter trash about washing my hair. And I just don't feel like it. Things may happen. I went to Home Depot, got the stuff. This 16 foot board goes all the way out there. I might go to jail. They might say it's illegal. I don't know. We finna head to the house with this and pray that no tomfoolery comes of this. But you know, it is what it is. Made it home. Everybody was looking at me like I was crazy. Thank goodness these are the backsides, I believe. So. I don't have to worry about it like being scarred up or whatever because that's not the side it's going to show. Thank goodness. So let's get this out and into the house. Look how long it was y'all just driving home like a regular ass person. <laughs> you folks like who is this crazy heifer? <laughs> this shit. Like look how far out it's sticking back. Gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what you got to do. Guys I'm back at the house so I decided I'm not going to paint it until I get it on the wall because the paint I got scuffs up really good. Just got little scuffs and stuff. So I'm going to have to paint it all. So I think I'll paint it when I get on the wall. But anyway, this is what the meetup will look like that. So I'm not going to do the well, the corners like that. So, And as you can see, my wall is not even. So that's what caulk is for. So I'll try to get it as close as I can. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these boards first along this wall so that I know that these butt up correctly. So I need to cut some of it off so I can get it in here and see how it's going to look. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to actually cut off this part here or if I'm just going to meet it to right there. I feel like I should cut it off and bring it all the way to the edge of the door. But would that look odd with this little thing stopping right there? I need to look up some pictures to see if it look odd or not.
girl is motherfucking tired, okay? Just got finished painting the baseboards. They're all done, took up all the tape, and now I just gotta get all the paint up off the floor. And once I do that, I can move all my furniture back where it needs to be. It's 612. So I've been at this all day. But I think I did a really, 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 really good job on the baseboard, especially to be a first time baseboard person. Like, your girl did the damn thing. Okay. Okay. I'd be hyping myself up thinking it's gonna be so hard, it's gonna take so long, and I'm not gonna be good at it. And next thing you know, I'd be fucking it up. So you can't doubt yourself. You can't doubt yourself. Ooh, I thought there was something back there, y'all. Scared me. I thought it was a little animals. <laughs> Let me hurt him clean my motherfucking room up. <laughs> I'll check in with you guys later. Oh, y'all don't know how good it feels to lay the fuck down. <laughs> my body is so sore. That freaking Epsom salt bath didn't do shit. My legs are gonna be on fire tomorrow. My legs, my back, everything. I probably definitely won't do the trim maybe for another week or two. I need to regain my strength. <laughs> But yes, I finally, um, oh, let me show you, I cleaned up my room. So, here's what my room is looking like now. It's got a candle burning. Don't mind the bathroom, it's still atrocious. But my bed and stuff is back in order. My room actually looks bigger now for some reason. I don't know why it looks huge now. And maybe it's because I had everything pushed to the middle of the floor. And I felt tiny. And now that I pushed everything back out, my I feel like my room is ginormous right now. So, yeah. Can't wait to get my console table. And then we can start figuring out what we want to decorate. I know I want to get a TV and I want to get it mounted. Um, and I probably need at least a 55 inch. Y'all know I love to watch TV. I know a lot of people don't like TVs in their bedrooms but your girl loves tv so i want a tv in my bedroom for sure i don't even care <laughs> so yeah um that's what i'm doing so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did give it a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe make sure you turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye